you doing? Hmm? What you doing? I, 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 I'm, I'm practicing. Practicing what? The ritual. What ritual? Muller arms ritual. You know, to, to, to <laughs> suck out the heart. Why? <sighs> Stir my concentration. Man. After last time, you, you were quite rightly said, how, how are we going to try and break into where the spider fans are to try and hunt them with this wonderful stick that I whittled for you? Okay. But I suddenly realised we don't need to. We have meat before our very eyes. I don't see any meat. I'll just go pluck out your heart, stick it on this, and braise away we go. Uh, I, I, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm very cool with that. You'll be fine. The guy in the movie survived. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think that that's a good idea. Maybe, maybe you should uh, uh, practice on someone else first. <laughs> Who? There's nobody here. We're, no less, we, we're going to wait for Kathy and Frank to arrive, but I thought we'd kind of decided that they weren't coming. So who else am I going to practice on? I mean, him? Mm -hmm. Works for me. I know it's the wrong film, but... <laughs> oh, Kalima! Kalima, Shoktine! Kalima, Kalima, Kalima! Sausage? Sausage? Maybe I'm orange. Yoo-hoo! What he said. Uh, oh, I've got to put it back over here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday. It is the last Friday of the month, which means it must be the last Friday of maybe movies. Uh, it is Friday. Apparently it's Friday in the real world. We have no idea about that because we're stuck here in our pocket dimension. <laughs> Sopping the teat of Clive Barker's sock drawer. <laughs> if you're watching this, Mr. Barker... Yeah, we're sorry. Sorry, not sorry. We love your work, though. Hello, uh, welcome back to Maybe Movies. My name is Max. My name is Sam. And we are up to our final episode of the month, where we are going to, A, look at Act 3 of Flash at the Temple of Doom, 2, cast our votes for which one we think should be our Maybe Movie for the month, and... Bullet point number three? I don't know, I've run out of things now. Oh dear, oh no. <laughs> also remind you that our poll is running on our social media for you to cast your votes as to which of our theoretical films that we've created this month should be our maybe movie for August 2023. So it's up on the Zadrum Twitter feed. It's also up on our Patreon, the Zadrum. Uh, more about that in a moment. It will now also be up on the Zadrum Instagram story for the next 24 hours. And it's also on our community tab here on YouTube. And also on our LinkedIn or on my LinkedIn on the Max Rudd LinkedIn as well. Then at the beginning of next month we will announce which one of these two movies has won the golden prize. Yes, um, sorry, more about Patreon from, from him. Of course, yes, speaking of social media, if our wonderful brand new spanking new community page isn't enough for you, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, or on Facebook at uh, the places down here at the bottom of the screen or in the description below. But if you feel like supporting us to a further degree and really want to see some interesting and random videos, you can always head on over to Patreon and support us there. We'd love to see you. If you don't feel like that, there's always a chance to buy us a coffee. Oh, a popcorn. Yeah, it's a popcorn. That's what we really, really want. We don't want coffee. We want popcorn. Or more beer. Although, we kind of know where the popcorn comes from. We discovered this about a year and a half ago. It comes from the opening of Unsudden Death. I thought we weren't going to talk about that anymore. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on quickly. Let's segue quite nicely into a shout-out. Uh, and this is for one of our good friends, good supporter as well. This is for Esmaniac. 
Yay. who is a wonderful creator who's been on the channel. He's given us loads of coaching and support and everything. Uh, thank you for everything, buddy. I'm going to run out of words to say how much you know he's helped us with the channel. He's just really sort of opened our eyes on to you know, what to expect going forward when we, when we get to hopefully get to the point of being monetized and things like that. And just generally been, been, been a good pal. Thanks, buddy. Keep up the great work. As always, buddy. Thank you. Let's get on with it. Um, I am on six of our wonderful golden stars. I think I am also on six. Oh no, I'm on. I can't count. I'm on seven. I'm on Damn seven. It. Okay, but act three. We left it with uh, Flash having succumbed to the black blood of Kali. Yes, indeed. Which I presume leads us into the second ritual involving Dale. But. I've just realised that having a visual representation of Eternity and Clive Barker's sock drawer is a terrible combination. Just, just, eyes this way. Eyes this way. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. <laughs> Second ritual. Yes. Uh, Dale in danger. Dale in danger. Flash succumb. Do we think... I don't want to take away from Short Round's efforts. Mm, but there's a but in there. There is a but in there. Flash is whiter than white. Are we thinking that he might break himself out of it? I don't want... Again, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Flash has this incredible plot armour. I mean, you even see it in, in, in Flash itself. Ow. That he's not even aware of. Oh. Brr, brr. Oh, I do see what you mean. Well, see, Flash is a paragon. Indy is not a paragon. He's a hero. Exactly. I do see what you're saying. On one hand, it feels like it takes agency away from Short Round. Indy, I love you! It does, but I don't think it does that much because we still get him breaking free and that lovely set piece of him chasing around, climbing up the ladder, swinging across the thing and grabbing all the thing and climbing up. Oh yeah, of course, of course. What I was going to suggest then, maybe, is his possessed reaction to turn around and slap Short Round is enough to break him out of it. Oh, the cruelty, act of cruelty. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because weirdly enough, putting Dale in a cage isn't the wanton act of cruelty. Slapping Short Round around, the poor defenseless little kid, yes. is an act of cruelty. At least in his drugs mind. I can sort of see the logic of what you're coming from here. Because until she bursts into flame, he's not doing anything to her. No. <laughs> <laughs> but slapping a kid around is definitely not what, what Flash would do. It's not cricket at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, know he's not, I know he's American, but you know. He's not rounders. Baseball. Baseball, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm blaming this. Uh, just calm down with that. I don't know. I think I might agree there, actually. Yeah? Yeah, I think I might agree. Strangely enough, he would break himself out of it. So we'd still get the bit where he'd slap him, you'd still get the guards go to grab him as if they're going to kill him. we just lose the being stabbed with fire. Now, does that cause us a problem for later, though, with the Maharaja? It, we, the Maharaja, the, the Maharaja. It does mean that we've broken the cycle of like there's an obvious thing like you burn Indy and he wakes up so you burn the Maharaja and he wakes up we so might... if you break that chain of logic we do unless we allow so we will just have to then when we get to that point change that that in that struggle with short round he knocks him into a torch or something well no if we're going to do that we might as well just have short round do it mm. I think we go with our new version and deal with them uh, with them um, with the consequences later. Yes. Okay. All right. So we have him freed. We have the music start going. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> ah, yes, 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 uh, yes. That piece will go the same. So we get the fight. It also looks. It always looks like Chatterlau survives because I know he gets thrown over the um over the mechanism for 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 the winch for the cage and he gets trapped by it. Yeah. But if you look. Afterwards, when Indy's really his back body's up. gone, his body. No, no, he's still there, but he's moving. Oh, right! I There's never a... noticed that. No, yeah. I thought he was dead. No, you see him moving, and then in the next bit, when he's getting Woody out of the cage, mm. he's stationary on the floor. I didn't notice that. I didn't. Know... I genuinely thought he was dead. That's what I always thought. Yeah, but Dale is freed, and we're leaving all of us. All of us. All of us. So this is where I thought this would be a good time to bring back our Kabaddi team. Mm -hmm. So oh, yes. So we can have something similar to the egg fight. Yeah, exactly. While the others are freeing all of the kids, yeah. he's dealing with them. And then once they get taken out of the picture, that's when Pat Roach in a turban turns up and we get that fight. And he goes way. to tackle Pat Roach and Pat Roach just 
takes it. I'm a wrestler. Mate. Like Come a tank. On. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like exactly. a tank. In fact, probably wrestles him, just probably just picks him up and throws him onto the conveyor belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then climbs up to follow him. <laughs> yeah. What well, just happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and then cue Pat Roach fight. Yes, which brings us to the consequences that we were just talking about. Right, okay, yes. So, obviously we have the Maharaja up on the thing doing the... Um, if we do the old business, how are we going to resolve this now? Well, short round would go to the rescue. Yes, he would. We um, know. We know he would do that. Yes. How is he going to do it? Has a fight with him, pushes him off, grabs the doll. Maybe there's like a ladder there, and just takes the doll with him, so it's out of the Maharaja's reach. Right. Okay. So we don't free the Maharaja. No. All right. Okay. But then that's causing more problems again because. Left and right. But they go right anyway, so so him telling them to go left, not right, only serves a purpose for him to say later on, we yeah. needed to go left. Yeah. Because they go right anyway. Yeah. So that doesn't, so we don't lose anything by that. No, no. It's just, we do short round, short round going, no, right, left, left, left. Exactly. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. All right. It's all Because it's not like everybody who's under the influence is freed by the time they've escaped. No. Clearly other people were freed in some other fashion after... The credits roll sort of thing. Yeah, so we can leave it like that. He just gets away with the doll. Which leads Ooh. us into the tunnel run. Do you see that going any different? No. <laughs> no honestly, no, I can't see that. No. It's, again, it is one of those Disney sets. Also, sorry. Apologies. Sorry, Stephen. Sorry, George. It's not Disney. It's not Disney, no. <laughs> not Disney. It's a Lucas Spielberg set piece. Yes, indeed, yeah. That is going to go the same way. We're happy that Flash is going to do the same thing with regards to jumping on the front to to act as a break. Yep, and then we get water, water, water. Again, it's one of those ones that I didn't get when I, when I was a kid watching it. Oh, I just saw a, I just saw a problem. But that thing with the water coming down the thing, I never got it as, as a um, when I was a kid watching the film. Mm. But I know what it's referencing now, because I remember it. I remember watching it. And something else as a kid. It was um, it a Captain Cody or Rocket Man. Oh, right. And there was an, uh, there was a cliffhanger in that, where he was trapped at the end of a tunnel with water coming towards him. Oh, right. Okay. And then at the start of the next serial, he happens to turn, and there's a gap just there, just mm. big enough to let him through, which he didn't spot before. Of course. That's the way they always went with things like that. Yeah. Exactly. So, problem? So, water? Mm-hmm. How onto cliff? Yep. Climb up. Climb up. Bridge. Who's got the machete? Flash. Where'd you get the machete from? He runs into the two thuggies, fights them, he grabs the one guy who he gets to fight the other one. Okay. Takes Crisis the averted. Him. Crisis averted. I was just going... It's interesting though because technically in the film it is a problem. The guy who it looks like he takes the, the machete off, if you watch that scene, Indy grabs him, throws the machete over the cliff, mm-hmm. and then in the next scene he's got it. I noticed that. Ah, <laughs> you did. I Come. did notice that, yeah. You could have said it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I think it's... He's got it. Second sticky point. Does he speak... Well, he doesn't speak Mandarin. He doesn't know the chant for Shiva. He doesn't. See, all I put down for that is... And again, it may possibly figure into the fact that it's... Uh, by this point, India is, is a republic. We betrayed the people. Yeah, no, but it was the prayer to Shiva that made the stones burn. It, uh, but, and again, I'm stretching here. I am stretching, I know that. Because the cultural geography of India has changed, if we allow that the gods change with the cultural geography of their people, then it's more about the people than the gods. So Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Flash doesn't know the prayer. No. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it's a prayer to the people or a prayer to Shiva he doesn't know it yeah. ah. we're on a mission from God so it doesn't matter whether he knows the prayer or not oh, we're, talking, been... we're talking about literal deus ex yes he has been sent on a mission by Shiva so it doesn't matter whether he knows the thing or not he is there acting in Shiva's stead. So he just grabs the thing and starts doing the prayer? And what, then, what, and, even and that, then uh, when he gets to the top, they're like, how did you know what to say? Or even if he just says, even even what he just says, you know, just you, you betrayed the people, Shiva will go, yeah, you've acted in my stead. Ah, uh, right, okay, just ignore the whole prayer. At this point, well, speaking for the people. For, for, he's speaking for the people, and he's speaking for Shiva because he is on, on the mission for her, uh-huh. for him. So whatever he says is going to be right. 
Okay. He's, a, he's, a, he's effectively a paladin. That's an interesting... Yeah, paragon paladin. paladin yeah. Yeah, 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 all right, I see what you're saying. That, are you, would that suffice? Are you I, happy I, with that? Yeah, yeah, I mean... I have to admit, personally, I like the idea of him... Just coming like, out with it. Like, Beam of Light hitting him or something like that, and he just says the prayer. Have you seen the light? And then when he gets to the top, everybody's like, I didn't... I, you didn't... You don't speak Indian. Where... How did you... No, I like that. I'm and it sorry. just came and to me, yes. you know? That appeals to me as as a writer. Um, that, that appeals to me, but also I love the imagery of it. I love that moment where you see that look in, in Molaram's eyes when he sees this is a... He's an outsider... Speaking with the voice of Shiva. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Okay, cool, definitely, cool. Definitely Thank works you. better. And as you say, he climbs up. How do you, we know, how did you know that? Um, and the rest is going to run on rails. The army turns up. Mm-hmm. They There's head back rifles. to the village <laughs> to return the stone. And it's retort, returned to its lovely green verdant state. And uh, we can end the movie however we want. I think with a proposal of some sort. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, that would that would definitely work. Possibly, like the, they invite them to stay for a few days. Then we get, if you want to ape that line from from Flash, I'm um, a New York girl. It's a bit quiet around for here, a bit too quiet around here for me. Okay, well we need to stay around for a few days. What for? Well, for the ceremony. Yeah, I was, I was going to say for the wedding. <laughs> I was going to say for the wedding, but that was yeah, exactly. Yeah, what saying. yeah, excellent. Yeah, I was hoping you'd stay for the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> and then again, obviously, we, then we get short round with the elephant and everything. And yep. Happily ever after. Cue credits. There we go. Woo. Okay, so we're going to take a couple of minutes, collect our thoughts, and then we'll be casting our votes. Well, I've already made up my mind. So I think you're in the lead. I mean, I've ended up on... I'm on six. I think you're on seven, eight, aren't you? I'm on eight. <laughs> a record, is that? I think it is, actually. Fantastic. I think it is. Well, again, it couldn't, it couldn't have come on a better month. We've had some interesting ideas this month, haven't we? We have, yes. So, um, I'll go first. Again, I, I loved what we did with Indy. Mm. I think it worked really well. I think there's there's some interesting things going on there with a bit more development, but so much has gone into this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's got to be Flash of the Temple of Doom. It really has. Especially, I mean, I know it's ostensibly a Lucas Spielberg production, but just these, these characters lift it off the page and you couldn't ask for, for, for a better love letter to those pulp heroes of the 30s and 40s than, than this. Absolutely. My vote is the same. Now, I understand I was being quite harsh on um, in- Indy and the Conqueror of the Universe. And looking back on what we were talking about, I realised I was probably being a little bit unnecessarily harsh. Yeah, no, please. <laughs> but even having said that, even having said that, this was so much more fun. It was, yeah. Uh, so, Flash. At the Temple of Doom. Indeed. Is... is- Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, that's my vote and your vote. And so now it's over to you guys. So as I said at the start, please check out our Twitter, our Instagram, the community tab on YouTube and our LinkedIn as well for uh, places to vote for which one of these two new movies you think should be crowned. Maybe movies for, or maybe movie, should I say, for tw- October. October? We're not there yet. It's not spooky season yet. <laughs> Sorry, I was just seeing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> it's around the corner, you know it's coming. Yes, for August 2023. And we'll let you know the results at the beginning of the next uh, next month's pitch meeting, which will be the beginning of spooky season. Oh, yes. <laughs> Until then, as always, have a brilliant rest of... of I'm going to say it again. <laughs> From my empirical studies, I have discovered that Clive Barker's sock, sock drawer is detrimental to um, translating what's in your head to what comes out of your mouth. I'll try this again. <laughs> <laughs> have a brilliant what's left of August. We will see you at the start of September. And until then, take care. As always, guys, TTFN. Ba 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 ba